Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video, and today, which I thought that was it, that was it for 2022, but lo and behold, here we are, we have the brand new Walmart exclusive gold label Eradicator, and if you don't know who the Eradicator is, well, we'll try and figure it out together. Gold label at the top of the box, and on the side, the name, along with this particular comic book storyline, Shockwave, that this form of the Eradicator comes from. You can see the artwork on the back, which is nice and crisp and clean. I love those energy effects. Perhaps we could have gotten some of those. Now, here's the barcode for the Eradicator. I had heard that these were hitting, and lo and behold, I walked into my Walmart, and he was just sitting on the shelf. Also, be sure to look out for the new DC vs. Vampires Vampire Batman, which I didn't find, but he's out there as well. Now, again, if you don't know who the Eradicator is, I know him best from Reign of the Superman, when essentially Doomsday quote-unquote killed Superman. Not really, though. This new take on the Eradicator is from the more modern comics. I'm going to be honest with you, it's kind of all over the place with continuity. He's an anti-hero, anti-villain. I just like the Reign of the Superman Eradicator, where he was a Kryptonian program and kind of helped to bring Superman back online in so many ways. You know what I mean? So we're just going to stick to that. So this is a new form of the Eradicator, right? Go figure. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Walmart Gold Label exclusive, the Eradicator. And while I got all you Superman here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And now here's everything out of the packaging for the Eradicator. And he doesn't come with any accessories. However, he does have a swappable pair of hands. Now, these hands, let me be completely honest with you, I get what they were going for. But I don't think that it necessarily achieves that function of energy sappage, energy power effects in general. You know what I'm saying here? To be honest with you, it kind of looks like he stuck his hands in bags of Cheetos and his fingers are covered in Cheeto dust. You know what I mean? They're not painted all that great. He does come with a DC Multiverse stand. And for the most part, even though, again, it's not the look of the Eradicator I'm hoping for. You know what I mean? It's okay. He does have some reuse. You can see the Superman boots, Superman Rebirth. We'll take a look at that figure in just a second. It's got paint for days. I'll give it to him in that sense. And I really love the cape. Like, I really like the cape. It's totally different. It's thinking outside the box. And I really like that. It's a very flexible, rubbery cape. I like what they did here with the S symbol right there and how it connects to the cape, even though I wish it was more of one piece, you know what I mean? But how spawn capish is that, right? So funny that McFarlane Toys made it. But what I really like is if you put him in a flight stand, which he doesn't come with, it really just looks cool. And what I think about with the Eradicator, it's like pouring rain. He's standing outside your window. He's about to eradicate you or the situation, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I like that. I like how it looks in that sense. The head portrait... Again, I get what they're going for. Is it what I want? No. Is it reflective of... Hold on. This cape's in the way. <laughs> is it reflective of what we see in the comic books? For this particular character, yes, it is. It's just not the ideal situation. You know what I mean? But they seem to be doing more and more of that with the whole modern DC universe, which is eh, cool and not so cool. But hey, it's a 90s character. And he does have all the articulation, unfortunately. It's the old articulation with the ball joints. So, yeah, it's it's a little all over the place in that sense. However, I will tell you this. If you have this Rebirth Superman, which you can see which parts they clearly reuse and which parts are new, right? So that's good. It has a decent amount of newish parts, so I totally dig that. But what I really like is that these heads were able to swap really easy. And that, to me... First of all, is the 90s Superman head, right? You give him a pair of glasses somehow. I guess I'll have to figure that out. But that looks awesome. And then you take some energy effects from the Marvel Legends Shocker. And those Cheeto hands 
turn into energy effect hands. You know what I mean? Like, they're still not that great, but you get what I'm saying here. And I love the way that this looks. Even if you used the Sunsoft Superman head from the Devastator 2-pack, that looks great. Although it doesn't really fit all too well. Just saying that it kind of is a little bit too small for the neck. But you can kind of fudge it in there. And I love the way that these two look together. More of a classic Superman. Almost to a classic Eradicator, right? Just needs that goggle visor thing. Maybe I can find something how to customize it. I'm not the best with that. But again, it's nice to see more Superman type villains or just characters in general. Like you have these Superboys that have come out before. We know we're going to be getting the 90s Superboy, which should have had some glasses just saying it's more of the modern take again, right? But yeah, it's, we're almost there. It's very 90s. I get the nostalgia, especially when you put this guy up against Doomsday. He looks cool in that sense or with Mongol. See, with DC, it's it's almost there. But there's so much flim-flam and everything else these days where I don't even know continuity anymore, right? But uh, if you were wondering, if you had a character to really put this guy with, he can kind of sort of go with the Zod that came out uh, recently this year. So he'll scale with him. But again, like I said, it's actually really fun to see a bunch of Superman characters. And I totally wouldn't mind a lot more in 2023. Fingers crossed. So... That will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Walmart Gold Label Eradicator. And it's just okay. I, I'm really happy in the sense that I love nostalgic 90s comic books, and it kind of takes me there. But in kind of swapping out heads and powers and effects and everything else, I kind of got it to where I wanted it to be. So I'll figure out a visor, and there we go. So he's just... Okay, but as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, bring on the reign of the Superman, baby. I'd love to see more of that. So when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>